everybody. Uh, I'm back again. This time we are going to be doing a bit of a weight to workout. You need a step if you have one. If you don't have a step, I'm going to make a physical one like the one I have here. Don't worry, you can use something that, you know, kids stand up on to go to the toilet or um, one of those little kind of fold up ones that you have for in the kitchen and um, anything like that. If you don't have a step at all, don't panic. Just do it without a step. You can do all the exercises without a step. There's no worries with that. We're going to get started, so let's get nice and warm to begin with. We need a set of dumbbells, uh, if you didn't have, uh, say that already as well. If not, you can just use something that's in the kitchen. And again, if you want to do it with just body weight, you can. Uh, let's get going. Right, okay, so easy enough. So there's a good bit for the glutes today. Just get the legs going. Start to pump the arms for me. And let's go for a little cross across the chest. So squeeze the belly in. And bring those elbows. So we're right back, squeeze the back. We'll be working the back and we're going to be working the chest. So from here, keeping that job going, take those arms up and press those elbows in together. Open, squeeze into the back, squeeze through the shoulder blades, squeeze into the chest. So we're going to go through all the exercises in this warm up, really, that we're going to be doing later on. So toes forwards, squat it back, drive back, and we're going to come up like that, into the heels. So it's quite a narrow squat. We're going to be doing these on the step shortly. And we're going to be adding on a little leg exercise. So we are going to start. I'm going to go so I don't hit the step. We're going to start with our right leg and we're going to squeeze it up. Clench. Hold the belly tight. So suck in from here. Clench the bum on this side. Eight. One, bring it down, switch over side, soften the knee, on the supporting leg, straight leg with the other one. Now, if you are doing this right, hold your tummy tight, you'll not only feel it in your bottom, but you'll feel it a little bit in the waist as that leg pinches up. Good. Three, two, and one. Good. Get those heels to the bump and pop those arms. So, we are going to do... Pop up to the ceiling, in down. So obviously without the jog, this is what we're going to do with the weight. Hammer curl to shoulder push. We're going through all the motions of everything that we're going to do. So we're getting all of the right muscle groups warmed up. Well done. Let's just go four more for me. Four, three. Good. Two. Last one. And right leg forward, left leg back. Keep that knee bent. I'm going to pump that left leg up. Use the arms with you for now, but afterwards, they're going to be hanging down by the side of your body. <laughs> Three. This will also be on the step. We're going to want to feel it in the bottom and the leg. Last one. Change size. Pump. Good. Get those arms going just so that you're getting that body moving. Picking up your heart rate. Breathe. There's a good bit of tone in this. We're working the whole body again. And again, you can make this more challenging. You can make it jumpier. Two. One. And then jog it out. Get those heels to the bottom there. Come down the quad. Hold the belly in tight. Come to the back of your mat if you have one. Or roll down to the floor. It's up to you. Start to roll down. Walk the hands out. Let's go for a press up for me here. And then walk back. Hold that lengthening. Shoulders back. Roll down. Let's go two press ups this time. One. Chin off the chest. Two. Drop to the knees if you need to. Come up. Good. Roll down. Remember to the knees if you need to. This time three. Four, two. And for one, good. Curl back under. Legs can be wide. Draw up, roll down. Last time. And we're going four. For four. Three. Good. Two. Elbows on that direction. Drop your shoulders back. One. Hold it here. Curl the toes under. Come into a downward dog. Soak that belly in tight. Drop to 
through the shoulders. And then bring it forward, right leg through, open up the hip. Take it back, left leg through. Take it back, one more time, either side. And then we're going to drop down to four tricep presses if we can. Good, take it back, drop the knees, hands in narrow, elbows tucked in. For four, control them. Three, don't let belly touch. Two, last one. And then curl, jump in, push up through the bottom. Well done! Okay, easy enough to start with. We're going to work for 30 seconds. And you need to get five seconds breather. Five seconds only. So we'll do another 30 second exercise, another five second breather, and then another 30 second exercise. And then you'll have 35 seconds to rest before you do it all again. So our first exercise is using the step. And if you have them, your weight, <coughs> your right leg is on the step. You're going to do 30 seconds of leg rise. Your little breather, elbows up, elbows up. And we're doing a double row back. So you're using both arms, squeezing in those shoulder blades. Then we do the left leg, pumping up right. Then we'll get a breather and then we'll do it all again. Three times through. So, my weights are ready. You can start lighter if you've got heavier weights, great. If you want to use them, feel free. Now, here we go. So, counting down. Now, right leg on the step or left, depending on which one you'll start with. Weights hang down, shoulders pull back, and let's go. Now, by round three, we are going to really feel this in the bottom. So, you are using your tummy here. Really drive that leg up. You can take it faster if you want to. Just let those weights hang, watch you're not rounding out that upper back. Draw those shoulders back. Good, you're going to start to feel it in the quad. If it's in the knee, make sure you bring the foot off the step and do it on the floor. Two and one. Relax. Okay, double row back. Stick the bomb out. Here we go. So draw right behind you. Squeeze those shoulder blades. If you find this position really uncomfortable, you can come down to the floor. And you can row up single arms, so you be in an all fours position. I'll show you what I mean in the break. Four, three, two, one. Go, left side. Ready? Shoulders back. Here we go. So again, as always, guys, put your own music on in the background. Drive up through that heel. This is step one. You can choose how hard you want to work with these. Just keep that front knee always bent. Lengthen that spine. Mine's long, I'm not rounding forwards. Let the weight hang. Two. And one. Relax. I think we're going to go straight in, guys. Right side. Let's do it. Right side. Okay, breathe. Good. Relax those shoulders. We don't need that 30 seconds in between. I planned it that way. But now, nah. we'll just go for it, won't we? We've got 10 seconds left. Now, with this next exercise, I'm going to show you what I mean. Three, two, relax. So, you're either going to go here, or I'm going to show you what the other option is. Okay, we've got other option. All fours, row one side, row the other side. It's exactly the same, but obviously you're doing alternating rather than two together. It's just if you find this pressure and you can't hold yourself in that position there without rounding out there. If you want to draw those shoulders back, draw the belly button in, use the core there as well. Good. Relax. Left side. Let's go. Good. Let those arms hang, guys. 
Power up through that front heel. Now, the higher your step, the harder this is. So feel free to get a nice high one, no problem. Yo, we've got one more set of all of these. At the end, we're going to do a super set of everything together. All nine exercises. Three, two, one, relax. Good, okay. Last time, right leg. Here we go. And push through that front heel. You can make these as heavy as you like, guys. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Squeeze the stomach in. Good. Open out that chest. Be sure that it's forward. I can really start to feel this in my quad and in my glute here. Three. And relax. Good. Ready for those rows back. Shoulders pull back. Stick the bum out. So the knees stay soft. And you really have to focus on those shoulder blades coming back behind you. If you're rowing and bouncing as you go, you just end up working your traps. We want to work down the lat, down the side of our back, right around that bra strap line. Squeeze, three. And relax, one more time, let's say. Nearly there. Then I'll give you a, bit of, a bigger break then before we go on to the next set of exercises. You're going to love them. Shoulders are going to burn. Legs are going to burn. 15 seconds to go this side. Come on, keep pumping that leg. You can do it. Stay with me. Stay with me. We're there in five. Come on, guys. Three. Relax. Good. Wait down. Have a quick sip of a drink. Exercise. What if you it? need one. So, next set of exercises. Working the legs, working the biceps and the shoulders. We did them at the beginning. Um, now, you can have one weight for these and pick up the other weight then when we come to do the next exercise. It's up to you. If you want to use both weights, just let them come up in front. Feet are right next to each other, but one is on the step, one is off. Heel stay buried. We sink low, and then we squeeze that leg out to the side. We then have five second breather, hammer, shoulder in, down. Knees stay soft, belly stays glued in. From this direction here, push in, down. We then do exactly the same, but on the opposite leg. So we squat down, drive out. Toe faces forward, so you stick that angle there. Both faces forward, and you squeeze in the bottom. You're not going too high. Your legs going all the way up there. You're not working the glute. You're just whoo, doing a high kick. We don't want that. Right. Another day, another day. We'll do can can down until next week. Right. Okay. Get your weights ready, guys. Thirty seconds of each. I'm going to go way. Now. Here we go, 30 seconds. One foot, other foot right next to it. Sit back, drive that leg up. Clench, squeeze the bottom. Drag the belly in. We don't need heavy weights for these. In fact, you don't need weights at all. Because they really do fire up the heart rate and get that body moving. Watch with that back. Doesn't dip as you sink down into that squat. You're doing well, guys. Relax. Bicep shoulder. Keep those knees slightly soft. Here we go. Drag in. Breathe. From the side. Now, I am plugging in my stomach. I am not swinging my arms. If I had really heavy weight, obviously I need to push them up. 
Four, two, put everything in. Slice it up for today. Last one in. And relax. Opposite leg. Ready. <coughs> Here we go. Drive it up. So we're working the upper body in between those leg exercises. It's just your blood has to travel to the legs. And then quickly for the next one, travel to the upper body. So you burn more calories is the basic gist. Because your body works harder to get the blood. And relax. Lift an area that you need. Okay, ready? Round two. Let's go. So if you need to pause and you need to have longer to breathe, no problem. Drive that heel away. I'm feeling this now, guys. I'm going to let you. Went out for a couple of runs at the weekend, but nothing major. Taking shows of out every day. I like to do the bit of the run. Relax. Ready. Bicep. Hammer curl. Shoulder. In. Down. After this step, we come down to the floor for a bit of upper body and a small bit of abs. But if you're working weights, guys, you always work your stomach and your core. That's what's so good about weights. Three. Relax. Opposite leg. One more set after this, guys. We're there. Here we go. So that five seconds is literally just move to the next position. Try and go low. Sink that bomb back. Good guys, stay with it now. You've only got one more set to go. Breathe. If you're struggling with the weight, you can hold them down by the side. As long as you don't interfere with that leg, relax. Right side. Ready? Here we go. Squeeze. Tommy in tight. We need you there. You should be feeling this on both legs. This side that's on the step and the other one. Keep that foot quite close. Don't let those knees drop in. Last one. Relax. Good. Bicep. Hammer curl. Shoulder. Big drag now. I was freezing in the cows earlier. Couldn't get warm. Hoovering. Couldn't get warm. I'm roasting now. Making cakes with the kids. I made them not gluten free, me the one eating. Yeah. And relax. Been eating way too much. Really? Exercise. I don't think I'm the only one though. I strive for routine with my food. Are you the same? <laughs> so you'll love it. Yeah, yeah. As long as I, I love my exercise though, so it doesn't have the problem. A little bit each day, and we're good to go. Breathe, last few. Come on, squeeze that heel away. Well done! Wait down, have a breather. Exercise. I apologise if I sound like I have verbal diarrhea on these things. It's terrible, just keep talking. I'm saying that or I just talk to Owen, but he doesn't listen to me half the time. I don't think anyone else does either, but you know. Well, I have your attention. <laughs> now, last set stop. We have, so I'm going to show you from two different angles here. We have chest flies. Now, what's really important with these is that the weight don't come behind you. They need to come out to the side. So, with your weights up, feet on the 
floor. Weight should be directly, so if you have your uh, weight in your chest, it should be directly above you. Watch the wrists don't turn out. Slightly turn them in towards each other, just so you don't pull on your forearms. We open out to the side as wide as we can, dragging the tummy in tight, and then we squeeze back up, as though you're clenching your boobs together. If your weights are too heavy, you can bend your arms a bit more and push back up there, or if they're not, you just extend them a little bit wider. And you want to feel that across here. I'll show you from the back in a second with the next exercise. So, weights are above your shoulders, your elbows are glued where they are, the weights come down by the side of your head and come back up. This is called a uh, tricep French press, or if you're using a bar, a tricep skull crusher, either one. We don't actually want to crush our skull. So that's that one. So from the back, if you can see me here now, now ish. Right, so it's an open out. Weights are in line with my uh, shoulders, drag in, and then this one is down by the side and a push up. The last exercise then on the floor, guys, is you can just, when you've done some this one, you can drop the weights behind you here, let them drop on the floor if you want to, hold on to them, and we're going for our single leg lowers. Feel the pull in the belly, drag the stomach in nice and tight. Make you should be going to take that leg too low if you can't. Right, back to back with these should be here and at the back of the arm. Right, here we go. Before we cool down too much, and let's reset that. Right, ready guys? Weights up. Right. Palms in. Off we go. Open and then that squeeze the chest. So you have to, actually have to think I am clenching my pecs. If you're a man, your move or your boobs together, ladies. Open and squeeze. Now if you want a bit of a longer range, you can do this on a bench as well. You just have to be careful how heavy you go with these. You don't want to tear anything across. Last one for me, and we take that breather. Weights up, we stay in line with those weights. We drop and we squeeze. Now you're going to know if these weights are too heavy because you won't be able to keep your elbows fixed and then end up drifting behind your head. You don't want that. The elbows do not move. Right above those shoulders, squeeze into the back of the arm. You also, if they're too heavy, won't be able to straighten the arms back out. Clinch! Last one in. And weight behind you, whichever way. Legs up. Here we go. Right in the stomach. Now, with those last two exercises, I'm going to show you just a little add on that you can use. Now, scoop that tummy. You're trying to aim for that feeling of tightness. If you've got nothing, you're probably not squeezing it hard enough. Or you're going through the move too fast. One more in. Okay. Straight in. Those that want to add on, lift the legs into tabletop. Just means that you have to work the stomach a little bit harder. But if your weights are particularly heavy, or you end up feeling this in the lower back because you haven't got the support. Just place the feet down. Open, squeeze the chest. Good guys, this is our second round through. Always easy around the floor. Oh, you always find a sweat more, I don't know what that is. Okay, get ready, next exercise. Weights up, in line. Here we go, down and push. Again, your option is to keep those legs lifted, work the core a little bit harder, it's completely up to you. Drag that belly button in as you squeeze those weights back up to the ceiling. Squeeze! Clench! Oh, I'm trying to fatigue the back of the arm. And relax! Weights behind you, be careful how you put them down. Legs up, off we 
go. My right arm is absolutely burning me. I've been painting outside and I don't know what the action is. My wrist is ripping. And I've got a nice lovely blister on my hand as well. So it's great though, we get all the jobs done, don't we? Squeeze. Tight in the belly. Nearly there. Last one in. Last set now, guys. Last set. Weights up. Watch those wrists. Here we go. Open. Don't let those weights come behind you out there. Straight out by the side of you. Make your arms a bit longer here if you need to. And I want you to focus on which side you feel stronger on. And then you know where you need to concentrate your energy. So is your left side or your right side stronger? Squeeze into that chest, along that armpit line. Good. Weights up. Ready? Here we go. Triceps in and push. Last set, guys. Last set. And then we do everything together. We're literally going to go from one exercise to the next. Nine of them. Back to back. We need it. Come on. Finish it up. It's a bit more control today. It's nice to do different exercises. Work the whole body. Relax. Weight behind you. Legs up. And draw. You can have those legs straight, or you can have a little bit of bend in the knee. Don't rush that leg back up to the top, because that's where you're working the stomach as well. Not just the way down, if you fire them off, you're not going to be working the stomach effectively. You need to control, feel the palm and the belly, keep that lower back down. Relax. Okay. Last step now, guys. If you need a quick drink, take one. You're going to be using your legs. Right side, knees rise. Double rows or rows on the floor. Left side, knees rise. Right leg, squat and lift. Shoulder to and um, hand to shoulder. Left side, lift it down to the floor. Chest, triceps, and Abs, and then it's all over. That's all we're doing today. Now, get ready. Weights up. Laying on the step. Right side. Ready? Go! Now, let's try and fire through all of these. Really work hard here. Make sure the whole of that foot is on the step. 20 seconds left to go. Come on, drag the belly in tight. My children are back outside the window. Hi! Go run in there, boys. Hi! Four! Two! One! Five seconds, breathe. Ready, bomb out, shoulders back. Row! Big squeeze now, come on. Clench the stomach in. Clap those shoulder blades together. Hello. <laughs> Good. Right back. I want to see that clench. Keep the head relaxed. Ten seconds. I can really feel this through my shoulder blades already. I miss my lap pull down the chin. And relax. Left side. Knee drives. Ready. Off we go. Now, big fire roll. Come on, work the legs. Work the booty. Good to keep everything moving, guys. Hey. Good to keep everything moving. 15 seconds to go. Good. Come on, stay with it. 10 seconds left, guys. Five. Three. One. Okay. Next exercise. Legs down. Here we go. Lift it out. Squeeze. Option is weights here. I always find I go down lower. Clench. Drive back into those heels. Don't worry. If you can't go all the way down, 
at this stage, whatever you can do, go a bit slower and then go a bit lower if you can. Relax. Hammer to shoulder. Here we go. Tommy is super tight now, guys. Don't let that back arch. If you're struggling, one foot on the step. Help keep your spine long, help support your back. Drag it all in. The last bit. Three. Relax. Opposite side. Squatting down. Ready? Here we go. Now from this guys, you're going to have to get straight down to the floor. Be careful as you go. I'll give you enough advance notice when your last one is going to be halfway. Come on, right down. Drive out that heel. Clench the bum. Power through that foot that's on the step. Three. One more in. Down to the floor. Straight in. Ready. Set. Here we go. Flight. Knee there, guys. Last few exercises. Keep it going. If you don't feel this is enough, do another set. Rewind, go again. Be my guest. If you don't like all the exercises, pick and choose what you want to do. As long as you're moving, doing that relax, a little bit of exercise each day. Happy with me. Right, here we go. Down, try to French press. Squeeze into the back of the arm, clench. You've got to feel that tension at the top. Into the back of the arm, don't let those elbows move. Keep your control. This is where you see my weird elbows. I have like, for the double jointed or something. Nearly there. Last one. Weight's behind you. Last bit. Legs up. Up we go. Control and squeeze. Drag the belly in. So what would be really good after this, if you're having a skipping rope, or you want to do a little bit of a hip circuit after the weight, be a nice little add on for just 15 minutes or something. Just choose a couple of exercises, you choose five at high, uh, high intensity exercises, and do three times. And breathe. Well done. Little rock out. Let's go straight up. Soles the feet together. Drive the knees out, lift up with your upper body, and then just have a little sink from side to side. Stretching out the bottom, lean back, leg up and over, open that knee out. So you can drive that knee out as far as you can and get that stretch around the outside of the bum there. If you want to curl up higher, do, or just lift that underneath toe up, and you should be able to feel a deeper stretch there as well. Switch over. Lift up nice and tall. Open out that knee. Push the heels away. And then if you want to lift that underneath toe. And you can even grab onto that underneath leg if you want to as well. Hold that there. Lovely. Staying there. Lifting up. Stretching out your tricep. Lift, open out, switch sides, and then across the body, straight out, and stretch the shoulders so you can see me there. You can do this down in the body if you want to, up to the side, and then you're going to just come over into a cat stretch just so that you can round out that upper back, and cut in, drop the chin. And then curl away, just stretch out the tummy, a little bit of extension of the spine. Back, up, round that deep breath, legs nice and wide, and then straighten out the hamstrings, take the curl up. And then just bring yourself to your step, this last one then. 
Just stretch out the calf muscle, which has been on the step. So nice to open out the chest. And then opposite side, keep opening out the chest there. And if you want to deeper stretch then into your chest, if you feel it's quite tight here now, you can just come into the wall, turn away, or into a door frame or something, and turn away opposite side. Okay, guys, well done.